Hello, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae. Um, it is Saturday afternoon in my studio, just getting back from my uh, holiday break. Boy, did I need a break. I was exhausted. But i um, sitting in the studio, and I had a young man come in, and he uh, had been following my work and my career for some time. And he came in and um, mentioned to me about making a living from his artist, his artistry, and selling his art. And um, my first question to him was, how many paintings do you have? And he said, well, you see, and you know, and this, that, and other thing. And then I said, stop, 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 stop. Okay, what I learned a long time ago was somebody asks you for a number, you don't give them a story. You give them a number. <laughs> a story is not a number. So when somebody says, well, how many people did you call today to try to generate business? And someone says, well, you know, this, that, and other thing. Uh, that doesn't help. You need a box with a number in it. I call one person or I call 500 people today. But the bottom line is you need a number. So his answer was a couple. Well, a couple is two. Two. I said, young man, I said, with two paintings, it's not time for you to worry about selling paintings. Your, your focus needs to be on making art. Right now, it's keeping it fun, working hard, working steady to produce a body of work, a consistent body of work of 15, a minimum of 15 to 20 paintings. And long term, you need to look at possibly 50 or more paintings or works of art, whether it's photographs, paintings, sculptures, whatever your bag is, prints, enough that you can do an exhibition and put your work out there to be seen publicly. But the idea of the, to focus on money or commerce or uh, profiting from your art right now is just premature. Like my mother used to always say to me, Eric, you're putting the cart before the horse. And uh, too often young artists or people who, who seek art to make money um, or to build a career uh, are premature in the attitude about how to sell the work and to uh, get the work out there. But the bottom line, first and foremost, is to be prolific. You have to produce work, like this painting over my head here. Uh, you have to keep working, working, and produce a body of work that's consistent. Not to say you don't uh, explore and experiment, but when it's time to hang that stuff on a wall or present it publicly, you have to have a cohesive body of work or statement. In my case, I've had the good fortune to be able to produce barely about four to five or more consistent large bodies of work. So I have this whole range that people know me for as definitive works by Eric McRae, same with Picasso or uh, Andy Warhol or uh, Matisse, uh, uh, Damien Hirst and Jeff Koons and uh, Takashi Murakami. All these artists have bodies of work that are consistent that are under the umbrella of what they do. So bottom line, if you're out there and you're obsessing over money and you hate your job or you're ready to do something new for the new year, and uh, don't be premature to rush out there to worry about selling art or uh, so forth. Get, get hunker down, have fun, make some work, master, get your skill set honed, master your skill set, uh, bring your visions uh, to fruition, bring something to the concrete world that others can see. Then you can sit down and start discussing, now how do I sell this work, exhibit this work, get it in homes, get it out there and publish it or whatever. So remember, don't put the cart before the horse. Um, Happy New Year, and I'll be in touch.